Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're out in the middle of the night. It's currently one in the morning and we're going out after the razor clams. We've got some salt, we've got the forks, so we've got two different ways of getting them. Hopefully we can fill up on bait and eat a few as well. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Found this before, guys. A giant peel of crab. Just molted its shell. I'm gonna keep that for bait. <laughs> beauty straight out of that hole they're not huge ones around here but good enough for bait and good enough for a feed delicious This part right here, guys. This is what the uh, razor fish give off when they're in a panic. And that's for any fish that come by. They give them a snack so the main body can disappear. Starting to come out thick and fast now. All I've done, you can see all the little white dots everywhere around here. I've just done one big patch. And I'm just going to pick the razor clams up as they come out. Oh, biggest of the day there. Not a bad stamp of clam, that one. I'm just watching these holes because they can pop up from anywhere. I've done about 50 holes now. So we'll see how many we've got. We've got about 12 so far. So we're on a roll. Oh, little buddy, you coming out? <laughs> oh, I love doing this. There's something so therapeutic with it. Just watching them pop up like that. And you can just come up and collect them. Especially at night time, because the beach is so flat. And this place is literally littered with razor clam. So, uh, all you've got to do, really, is just sit there and wait for them to pop up. And a good tip is not to pull them out too quick, like that one, it's still got its foothold. So if you just put a little bit of pressure on it and give it a slight wiggle, then you'll feel it start coming free. And there you go. You can see the foot on the bottom there. That's what they anchor themselves into the sand with. And that's the delicious part that you eat. Check that out. We've only been here about 10 minutes. We've already got quite a few. Stalking my prey. Yeah, <laughs> big one. Come on, little buddy. You know you want to come out. <laughs> you see him agitating the sand. What it does is there's too much salt for the clam to bear. So what they're trying to do is get out of the hole and move to a different spot. Oh yeah, nice big juicy one there. <laughs> All I'm doing is just going around in circles, guys. And every time I go around, we're just finding clam after clam. <laughs> it's so fun. I can see them just sitting there. <laughs> I love it when they just worm themselves out. Looks amazing. Got him. Like I said before, guys, you always got to watch that foot. 
you can feel it as you're pulling it out it's quite strong Yoink! Oh, he's anchored. There we go, we got her out. Oh, wiggly worm. Just made a few markers, guys. There's a big circle where my foraging bag is, where I've dug holes already. So I know this area, as I come back up, hopefully we'll have some razor clams just sitting around. Because what I'm going to do is grab the fork now because it's dead on low water and I'm going to start digging them out by manpower. That easy picking. There is clams absolutely everywhere around here guys. There's definitely no shortage. Look at that one. That's a beauty of a crab. <laughs> Get in the pan here. Check that out. Two razor clams right there. One dig. That's what we want to see. A second dig can often bring them out. Often they're trying to shoot their way under. And these things can go down about a meter, so you've got to be pretty hasty when you go to get them. That's for sure. And as always, fill your holes in, ready for the next time. Came up to check all the uh, holes that we've salted, and there seems to be a few round. <laughs> it's amazing just going around, plucking them out of the sand. Beauty of a razor, that one. One, two. <laughs> We're getting loads of them. They are absolutely everywhere today, these lot. Oh, Check this out guys, this is called a sand eel and these things can bury themselves very quickly straight into the sand and that's how they avoid predators. It's a bait fish that's really popular over here. Put it back in there, be ready for when the tide comes in. We've got our delicious clams, check those out. Lovely sized razor there. Often you'll have razor clam holes back to back. In that case, just like this, you can start popping them out. I had got him in the end. There's one there. There's a white ragworm there as well. <sighs> the 
There you go, guys. That's called a white ragworm or cat bait. They get considerably bigger than this. And this is one hell of a bait for fishing. Red mullet, flatties, bass, gilt heads, you name it. They will all eat that. But you want them a little bit bigger. That tide's coming up seriously quick now, guys. We've got a good handful of razors in here. So what we do, we go up to the top of the beach. We'll have a little sort out and give them a wash through and see how many we got. have a look at our catch guys we've got a good haul here we've got one big juicy peel of crab look at that chunky thing that is just going to make sure there's no really small ones we've got quite a few today check that for a haul and that's only only one hour of digging that that one's a bit small, I'll let go, I'll let that one go. There you go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight. We've got forty. So we have 40 all together and one big juicy peer the crab. So check that out. What a cracking forage. Back in the kitchen now boys. Just thought I'd show you how I bag them up for baiting. Well I've got some little ziplock bags. First of all I'm just going to take out some of the bigger ones that we can eat and the rest we're going to be bait. But look at those. We've got some beautiful sized razors today. Or tonight, shall I say. That should be enough for our cook. That's enough for me to munch on. So I'm going to put them in there with some salty water. Just going to add a couple more. Just because I'm a bit chunky. <laughs> so yeah, salty water and in the fridge overnight. And what they will do is purge out all of the rubbish that's inside of them. And a lot of them may die because it's fresh water, but it doesn't matter. As long as they just purge themselves, they'll be good to eat tomorrow. Delish. All I like to do is just grab a big handful and just chuck it in the bag. This is really valuable bait for my gilt head fishing. So I like to have a few big bags of them ready to go there you go nice prepared baits there we got a nice feed out of it I'll get the rest done and I'll see you in the kitchen tomorrow And I almost forgot our lovely peeler crab there. And all I'm going to do is just chuck it in a bag, put it in the freezer, and that could be my lucky bait to catch a giant gilt head. <laughs> Back in the kitchen now guys these have been purging overnight you can see a lot of them are still alive even though they've been in water well fresh water overnight so they do survive a while there was loads of dirt in the bottom of this and now they should be squeaky clean got a few different ingredients for me today got a little bit of black pepper fresh sea salt we've got a little bit of ginger Smoke paprika, beautiful. And what I've got is some hoisin sauce as well, which I'm gonna add at the end and we're gonna toss them in so I have a sticky hoisin sauce coating, delicious. <laughs> 
can't forget a nice dollop of Guernsey butter just to get things going. With razor clam, you never want to cook them for too long at all. As you can see, most of them are open now. So what I'm going to do is get my hoisin sauce straight over the top. We give it a good stir around, and that is it. I'll take that straight off the heat, and these are ready to eat, baby. Check that out guys, delicious little sauce there as well. Perfect little appetizer before I go foraging. Smash seems like he wants a bit of the food, I can hear him moaning. <laughs> there you go, as you can see, beautiful white meat these are. Really tender when they're cooked properly. You've got to get it right, you can only cook them for a minute and then get them off the heat. Mmm. Mmm, that is absolutely delicious. These parts are my favourite. My big foot there, big bit of muscle. Mmm. If you can find, there's two different species of razor clam. You get these smaller version that only grow to about that or maybe just a little bit bigger. And then you get the giant variety. We don't find the giant ones that much over here. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, nice little cook there, guys. I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to finish off this delicious meal. I've got 20 minutes and I've got to get back down the beach. So stay tuned for the next episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Mmm.